my name is Lindsay and today I want to do a chest location video on all the chests that I have found so far within the new school campus 3. This will include all of the phases that we currently have in the new school and all the chest locations I have found within those phases. So let's go ahead and get started. And so the first one is actually here at the beginning. I'm by the guards. And I'm going to look towards my right and I'm going to fly to the top of this water fountain because at the top is a chest. So we're going to fly into the water and we found a chest so we are going to open a chest and we got three badges. Wow. Oh my goodness. I hope there's an accessory inside this chest. You find 750 diamonds. Now from this chest right here, we are going to enter the woods. So I'm gonna leave this area and I'm going to fly back towards the school and to this gate. So you're going to leave this gate right here and we're gonna enter the rainy woods. You're going to fly right here because there is a drop off so we are going to go to the rainy woods. There are two chests in the rainy woods. So the first one is by a tree. So you're going to follow this path right here. So just keep walking. And right here you'll see two paths. We're going to take a right. And we're going to go this way. If you're lost, you can always look at every tree. But you should see the sparkle of the chest. And it is right here. It is 500 diamonds. There is another chest in the woods. You will need nature powers for this chest. If you don't know how to get different powers, I do have a video on how to get different powers. I recommend checking that out. So I'm going to go ahead and put nature powers on the top because we will need them. And now we are going towards the pond or the lake, which is just down this way. So you just follow the path and right over here, you will see a water, a body of water. So near this water, you'll see some flowers, some bushes right here. You will need to activate your nature power and aim it towards the bush and it will open and you can go in to get the chest. It is kind of dark. So if you want, you can keep your nature powers going and follow that light. But if you just go straight, you will find the chest. So just keep going straight. And here is the chest. It is 1,750 diamonds. Okay, now we're going to leave this area. So we're going to come back the way we came. Let's see if we can find our way out of this cave. I keep getting turned around. And since we just need to go back to the new school, I figure maybe it'll just be easiest to reset our character. Okay, we are back to the area we need to be. So I am going to run towards the fountain. And now I'm going to fly because we are going to take a left. We're going to come over here to this gate. So over there is the fountain and the school bus. We are now over here in case you didn't see where I went. And we are going to go into the water. Go into first person because over here is a chest with 75 XP. Okay, so now we're going to leave this area. So we need to fly out of the water. And once you're over here, we are going to go left towards the school. And now I'm going to go towards this bell tower over here because there is a big yellow rock, which you will need light powers for. So I'm gonna go into my powers. I'm gonna click on my light power so it is at the top. Now I'm gonna make sure my light power is activated and I'm going to aim them at this rock so we can get rid of it. And here is a chest and it is the picture perfect face light item. Okay, so now from here, I'm going to go over to the obby. So I'm going to fly down to the fountain. Now I'm going to go over to the gate and I'm going to fly up to the obbies. And we are going into the nature obby. You should be able to go in the obby as long as you have the powers. It doesn't matter if you completed the obby or took the personality test. 
So we're going to enter. Okay, and if you have the power, you will be able to fly in the obby. Again, it doesn't matter if you completed the obby or did the personality test because I did the personality test to get my nature power. So you should be able to fly if you've done the personality test. And we're going to fly up here because there is a chest and in this chest, it is 500 diamonds. Okay, so for this next chest, we need to go to Enchantraverse again. So if you don't know how to get there, an easy way is to go through the obbies and fly to the end. Or you could come over here to the forest and retrace your steps where you went to the first time to enter Enchantraverse. So you're just going to follow this path. And honestly, the easiest way is to go straight and go to the pond, which is over here. So I'm going to keep walking straight until I find the pond, which is really right here. So here we have the pond. And so now we're just going to keep going straight until you see this field. And now we can open the gateway portal. And now we can enter in Chantraverse. And so the main power requirement you need for this chest is fire. And the fire obby is really easy if you cannot get firepower through the personality test i recommend the obby it is really easy and so now if you have the firepower you need to enter the ice obby so let me look around i was thinking it was more of a maze because there's like a maze part to it but it is an obby as well so we are going to enter the ice obby and again you're going to need fire power so just go ahead and enter. Okay, so once you enter the ice obby, we need to do the first part of it, which is the sliding down really fast. So it might be easier to jump. And if you completed this obby, you can also fly. That is an option as well. But I do find jumping through it easier because it does kind of slow you down. Okay, so I had to do it without talking because I do find it easier to do these types of things when I'm not talking. I do mess up a lot when I'm talking. So now we're going up this ladder and we're going to drop down. And as you drop down, you may bounce. Okay, so now we are in the maze area. And what you need to do for the chest, you're not going to do the maze. We're going to come up to this ice wall right here. And this is where you're going to want to make sure your fire power is equipped if you don't know the power that's on top is the power that is equipped so you get out your power and you're going to um, light your power towards the ice wall until it melts so i did have to walk closer to the wall because where i was i wasn't quite melting it and there is the chest you should be able to jump towards it like this and nothing will happen and so now we're going to open this chest and see what it is. And we found 2,000 diamonds. That is a lot of diamonds. I am quite happy with this. Okay, so now we are going back into the school. So you need to be in front of the school where the fountain is. And we need to go into the school because we are going to go into the bell tower. So once you are in the school, you're going to come over here and you'll see this area right here that says Bell Tower. Now the easiest way to get this chest is to fly up the wall because we do have to go into an invisible room. So fly up the wall against the wall and you should come into the secret room right here where there is a chest. And inside of this chest, oh, we will find 200 XP, which will be very helpful unlocking our level rewards, or levels rewards, I should say. I am now in the front office because the next two chests we are going to get will be in the head mistress's office. And there are two ways you can get in the head mistress's office. You can break in through the vents, which is in the dormitory bathing quarters. And if you don't know how to do that, I have a video on how you can break in. 
or you can wait for there to be a quest but you have probably seen it it will say the head mistress will see you now and in the next clip i'm going to show you i waited for the quest okay so once you enter the head mistress's office you're going to come over here to this uh, painting and when you look at this painting you will see this key in her hand you need to click on the key so you will click right there or right on the key and it will open the painting and now we could go in although it is an obby so i'm not going to talk during this part because i have a hard time with obbies and you don't want to mess up otherwise we'll be outside the headmistress office and that is not good so i failed on my main account so i switched over to an alt account i am doing a voiceover right now because I can't do this type of stuff in talk, but I was lucky my all account had this quest ready. So here is the first chest. So let's open it and see what we get. We get 5,000 diamonds. That is so much diamonds. Oh my goodness. So there is another chest and it is behind this wall right here. So go through it. And you will see a, another chest. This one is kind of a secret chest. So I wonder what could be in it. Okay, so I took a screenshot. And so now let's go ahead and see what's in the chest. And in this chest, we will find... Oh, we got the headmistress earrings. It is a free accessory. That is so exciting. I love free accessory chests. Now we need to go to the locker courtyard because there are some chests in the locker courtyard that I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and enter that area. So once you enter the locker courtyard, you are going to go right because we need to find the classroom with the sign class A102. I'm pretty sure it is over here. So yes, here we have class A 102. So you need to claim one of these lockers right here. Go ahead and enter your combination. And then once the locker is open, you should be able to just walk through it. And here is the chest. It is 150 XP. So now we are going to leave this area. And we are going to go towards the area with the tables, which is down here. You will see some water. We are going to go through this right here to enter the water. And you will see two gates. We're going to the left one. So go ahead and fall down. And here is a chest. And now we need to go back into the front office for this next chest. And once you're in the front office, you're going to head towards the head mistress's office because we are going to be entering this counselor's office right here. And in order to enter a counselor's office, you will either need somebody who can enter it or you'll need to unlock or you'll need to unlock the sparkly star achievement. So if you have a friend who has already unlocked the sparkly star achievement, they can take you into the counselor's office. And in order to unlock the sparkly star for the counselor's office, you will need to level up 275 levels. And since it says levels, that means you have to level up 275 times within the new school campus three. So let's go ahead and enter the counselor's office. You will know you're in the correct one because it is the black and red office. And over here by the desk, there is a little cubby you can open so it can be a little difficult to open so try and get to an angle where you can see it and click on it and there will be a chest with some diamonds it is 1250 diamonds now i'm going to be entering the student dormitory so let's go ahead and enter and once you are in the dormitories you're going to come over here to the stairs and we will be going into the mermaid pool area. So right here is the mermaid hot spring pool, which is where we need to go. And we are going to come over here to this bridge. And we're going to jump into the water. You should see two chairs right here. And in between them will be the chest that you need. And if you're having a hard time swimming, 
If you fly, you'll stay in the water. It might make it easier to open up the chest. And now from here, we are going to go into the dormitory bathing quarters. So we are going to leave the mermaid pool and right across will be the bathing quarters. So just go through this door. Once you enter the bathing quarters, you are going to take a left right here. And you will see this sign, locker, showers, vanities. You're going to go through this door. And then once you are here, you're going to look to your right and you'll see the laundry room. And once you come to this dryer right here, you open it and you can go into the vent okay so these chests are pretty far apart and there will be a lot of long hallways so for the first chest i'm going to show you we are going to go straight and when you get up here you will see two turns i am gonna go left and now i'm going to take a right and now i'm gonna take another left and we are going to enter one of our first long hallways but the one we are going to get is in a secret wall you go through one of the walls so to get to that wall you're going to go past these two corners and we're going to go past these two corners right here and you'll see one hallway right here right across from it is the first chest and i did get this one already it is the flashlight and if you're wondering where your flashlight went it went into your backpack if it's not currently out it is in your backpack it is a backpack item now that we've gotten the flashlight chest we are going to leave and when we leave we are going to take a right and now we're going to take a another right and we're going to come down here and now you're going to take a left and you should see smoke coming out of a vent down here. If you do, you're in the right area. And now we are going to go through this wall right here. And there is another chest. I have not opened this one yet, so I'm super excited to see what it is. It is 1,500 diamonds. Okay, so now we are going to leave. And you're going to take a left right at this turn. And now we're going to go straight. The chest is straight. There will be another wall we can go through. So just go ahead and go through that wall. And you're going to continue going straight. And here is another chest. So let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so there's going to be a weird jump cut because I got kicked out of the server, but I came back to the chest we just got, which is the 1,250 diamond chest. And so now we are going to leave. We have to go back through this wall right here. And now we're going to go straight. You'll see this turn right here. We're going to go past that and we're going to go to this one. So we're going to take this left turn and then we are going to take a another left and once you get to this last hallway, we are going to go down that. So we're going to go right. And in case you're wondering where we are, we are right across from the flashlight chest. So if you're lost, that is where we're at. So we are going to go down this hallway and we will be able to go through this wall right here. And there is a chest. And in this chest, we have 1,337 diamonds. And now there is another wall we can go through, but there are three vents. So what you're going to want to do is make sure your run speed is on so you can run because you need to be fast. You don't want to fall down any of the vents. What I like to do is do a run and jump combo like this. And we made it to our next chest, which is 2,000 diamonds. And now, just so we don't have to go back over the vents, I am just going to reset and go back to the beginning. So now we're going to go get the rainy day classroom chest. So we are going to go straight. We are going to take a left. Now we're gonna take a right. And we're going to take another right. And now all we have to do is go straight down this really long hallway. And there is a chest we will be getting on our way to the rainy day classroom. Because that chest is right next to the rainy day classroom chest. So it is on the way. So we will be getting two chests. So just keep going down this hallway. It is really long. Oh my goodness. 
So you see this wall right here, we can go through that wall. So you're going to go through this wall right here and you will see a chest, which is 900 diamonds. So I want to give a warning about the rainy day classroom chest. If you are getting this chest in a round of musical chairs start, you will get pulled into the game. So it can be a little tricky getting this chest. So we are going to go through this wall right here and we're going to go down this vent. Okay, we made it to the rainy day classroom. So now you're going to go straight until you get to this vent right here and you're going to fall down it. Now we're outside the rainy day classroom so we can go over to the tower and get to the chest. Now we did open it last night and in this chest it is 300 XP. I love how this school has XP in the chest. So if you don't have all the chests yet from the vent, you're going to have to teleport there again. You'll have to go through the castle dormitories because as of the recording of this video, you can't teleport from this realm. Okay, we made it back inside the vent. So we're going to go straight, but this time we are going to take a right. So we are going to go this way. And then our first right we are going to take. So right here, we are going to go right. And now we're going to go down this hallway, which feels like we are going in circles and it is pretty long. So just follow this long hallway. And again, it will feel like you are going in circles, but you're not. You're going in a straight line, I promise. And once we reach the end of this hallway, there will be a vent that we'll need to jump over. So we are almost to the chest. I think that might have been our last turn. Let's see. No, it is still going. Oh my goodness. I forgot how long this hallway was. So just keep going. And right here is the vent we need to jump over to get to the chest. And in this chest is 250 XP. So once again, we need to go back over the vent. And we need to go back down this really long hallway to get to the next one. So just keep leaving this hallway. And then once we get to the main hallway, I will show you where we need to go. So just keep going. Maybe if I put my run speed up, it'll be easier. So let's get to the end of this hallway. Oh my goodness, it is so long. Most of the hallways these chests are in is really, really long. Okay, so once we get to this point, we are going to take a right and we're just going to go down this really long hallway we will need to drop down into a vent so after we get this chest we will be restarting again so right here is the vent go ahead drop down you may bounce a little bit but it's fine here is the chest 1000 diamonds if you want you can climb up the ladder but i just feel like it is easier to reset the character Okay, we are back at the beginning of the vent. So we are going to go straight once again. We're going to take a left. We're going to take a right. Now we're going to take a left and we're going to keep going down this hallway. You will see these two turns. We're going to go past them. We're going to pass these turns as well. And we're going to go down this turn right here. It is a right turn and we're going to go down. And now we're taking a left. And there will be an XP chest down this way. It is a green chest and it is 325 XP. Okay, so I'm back at the beginning. Um, I found another chest after I finished filming. So I'm back at the beginning and now we are going to go straight. And I'm pretty sure this is the last vent chest. So now we're going to go right. And you're going to go past these two corners right here. Just keep going down this hallway until we see this right passage right here. And then we're going to turn right. So now we are going to go down this hallway. And once we reach the end of this hallway, we're going to go right. Because if you look to your left, there is a hole. So we're going right and you'll see this passage. And then on the second passage, we're going to go down. There will be a wall, you can tell, because there's obviously a fan right here because you can see the smoke. So we're going in and there is a chest. So let's go ahead and open it. And in this chest, we get 1,000 diamonds. And now I'm going to show you the two chest locations that are just in the bathing quarters. So outside of the vet maze 
in the bathing quarters. Okay, so this next chest is in the laundry room. I just exited the maze, so... It is kind of a chest you have to be lucky to get because you have to go down this slide in the basket. There are two sections to the slide. The chest is on the second section. Now, I do have a clip of me getting this chest. So, what I recommend you do is once you get to the second section, you should jump out of the basket. Let's see if we can get lucky. So, I'm going to get on and I'm going to click take off and let's see what happens. So if we manage to get to the second section, you're going to want to jump out of the basket. I'm going to show me doing it. I have a clip of me doing it perfectly, so you will kind of know what I mean. chest you're going to want to come to this room right here it is the relaxation room you're going to enter and you're going to look up and you can see water so you're going to fly up here and on this ledge will be a chest it is a 850 diamond chest location for this next chest we are back in the front office because we're going to get the one out of the teacher's lounge and this is a sparkly star award to get it you have to be level 1500 and as you can see i barely made it to that level so let's go ahead and get that chest now so the teacher's lounge is over here right behind the front office desk it is a right here so let's go ahead and scan our key card and go in so once you're in the teacher's lounge you're going to go left and now we're going to come over here to this room and it is a little chest on the shelf and it can be hard to see so it is over here by this envelope it kind of looks like a box so let's go ahead and open the chest. Inside this chest, you find 3,000 diamonds. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of diamonds. And lastly, we have this wall. It does take a random passcode and you click on four of the bricks. Everybody has a different code. And we don't know what the hint to the coat is yet, but in one of the future phases, there will be a hint. So once I know that hint, I will let you know. But if you can find your passcode, there is a chest through here. And that chest is over here. I can fly to it and you'll be able to see it through the window. So let's come over here. And you can see through the window, there is a chest. So through that brick wall... It will lead you to this chest, but you need to know your code. And it is a random code for everybody. And it has been confirmed in one of the phases. There will be a hint to your code. So we do have to keep an eye on that. So when it releases, we'll all know our codes. So those are all the chests I have found so far within the new school. And like always, I will update you when I find more chests. And I'll do a one great big chess location video when the new school is fully out. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe and turn that bell notification. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!